Hi guys, RetroPass here. Today we are going to unbox and review the Sega Genesis clone Fei Hao. Please stay tuned. Before we start the unboxing, I would like to say that I ordered the clones console from AliExpress and it took me around 3 weeks to get here in Switzerland. Well, it costed me around $46 plus the $20 for the delivery. So I will leave the link uh, to the seller below here in the description. When checking the description I was quite impressed since the price was quite good, the console could be connected through HDMI outputting 720p uh, and it had two proper wireless controllers, not that cheap and annoying infrared connection like in many other consoles that never works that well and of course the multi-card with the 18 games so yeah I was impressed uh, the console uh, looked like a Genesis Model 1 and had a switch to change between PAL and NTSC games so you could play multiple regions here so another plus for me and uh, for the looks of it it's not an emulation like uh, Retron 5 but really the real deal well, uh, said that, let's move forward to the unboxing. Well, as you can see here, the package came covered in a grey plastic uh, and it shows to be a bit beaten and with a small damage. But moving on, uh, I have here with me a screwdriver to open the package. So, well, now I'm getting excited. Okay, so it comes covered in plastic bubbles probably to protect the inside but, but well let's remove it and check the box uh, until now my thoughts are that it looks like in the website so let's check the console in the back okay so here we have some instructions what it says if you don't clean your games the system will not work <laughs> nice touch. What else? Uh, your HDTV will cause a delay when playing retro games. Well, that can be true, but I don't expect to notice like a huge delay that your eyes can really catch it. So let's really open the package. Everything looks well accommodated, so that's good. Uh, so, well, let's remove the plastic bubbles. Let me first check the controllers. Well, it doesn't have the same feel of the original Genesis controllers. But the quality it's not bad, um, especially when thinking in the price I paid, yeah, plus the fact that there are many clones consoles out there and really the controllers normally tend to be very bad. So I think this one it's pretty good for the price I paid, uh, but the drawback I'm seeing now, yeah, mm, uh, yeah, you need a screwdriver to, to, to put and remove batteries, so yeah, I would say that is the, um, uh, that's the biggest drawback. And here we have the multi-card. Well, let's try it later. And now the power cable. Okay, much smaller than the original, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, the TV out and the HDMI cables. And the instruction manual, yeah, for sure I will read it.
and here we have the star of the show the console system uh, well it feels much lighter than the original Mm, power button and the reset button have a nice feeling. Let's turn the console and check if we can connect the Sega CD. It looks like it's not possible. But let's open it and let's check inside anyway. Well, yeah, as I suspected, uh, you have a big molding, but in the end, only 20% of the console is really being used for something. The rest is just plastic. Well, yeah, the console really looks good uh, and looks like they really use the same molding so as the Genesis one, so yes, quite impressive. Before I try some of the games, let's quick check the games I have here. So here we have Mega Man, it's a repro, Sonic one, my original Mega Games packed with six games. Uh, well, obviously the multi-card that came with the clone console and the Demolition Man, one of my favorite games on a Sega Genesis. I spent many hours. And Street Fighter 2, Championship Edition. Let's quickly try to insert a game to see the grip of the console. Well, it's strong enough, but you need to be a bit careful when removing it. Oh, uh, and let me show you quickly the back of the console because I forgot, so let's quick quickly do it. Here we have the HDMI connection and the TV out. So, okay, as advertised basically. So let's try some games. Well, the first thing I notice is that the console stretches the game, so it covers the full screen. So it doesn't use the original format. That might not please uh, some people, and maybe some games will look weird. Sonic looks good, sounds good, yeah, and feels like my childhood again, so I would say Sonic works perfectly. And now Street Fighter 2, well, something happens. Well guys, I changed the switch uh, from uh, to change between regions and tried again, but same issue, so mm, honestly, not sure what happened. Sadly, the Malaysian Man is not working and it's showing us a, a row screen. Odd. The pack with the six game that came in my original Genesis works just fine and it looks so good. Well, but let's try one of my favorite games, Street of Rage. I will be enjoying this quite a lot if it works well.
The repo of Mega Man Wheelie Wars really looks good and feels good. Uh, something I haven't commented yet was how it feels to play this game with the control that comes with it. And I have to say, it works quite well and it's better than I expected. So, another plus on this. And at last, let's give it a try to the multi-card that came with the console. Let's see. Um, not sure. Let's try Rumble Tree. And I'm sorry, but I can't resist. Let's try some golden eggs.
as final note, I would like to say that I tried the Demolition Man card on a original Sega Genesis and it didn't work. So I assume the damage is beyond repair and yeah, that makes me a bit sad because I really love that guy. Uh, but coming back to the main topic here, o overall I think that this clone console it's a must for someone that wants to play their old cards and also wants to ensure that we'll be able to play uh, these multi-cards options that now you have and um, any other repros that you may want to have and of course one of the main reasons the EverDrive. You can play EverDrives in this console so for me that's a huge plus when comparing with the other consoles like the Retron 5. Please don't get me wrong about the Retron 5, I have one and it's very useful. But one thing it's emulation and another thing it's the real deal. So again, it's a huge plus. Um, I also tried some other games including PAL, some other repros, some uh, NTSC um, games and it worked fine. Um, this console can really replace your old tired Sega Genesis and of course if you are into collecting as me you can have all sorts of cards from different regions and you will be able to play them all so for the price you pay for this console you will be really really happy uh, as I said uh, it's a good console I'm extremely happy with my purchase and I recommend it to everyone so yeah uh, I think it's it's all guys, so please let me know in the comment section if this clone system is something that you would consider to buy, uh, to play your old games, and well, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to, to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, and see you soon guys. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like.